My name is Daniel Holter, and I'm here to share with you a very clever and simple way of calibrating a sintering oven. So as we know by now, the sintering temperatures directly affect the way our, our restorations end up coming out. So certainly if the temperature is too low in our sintering ovens, uh, the restoration comes out very opaque and dead and not lifelike. If it's too high of a temperature, then the chroma tends to burn out as well as it grays out or lowers the value of the restoration. The way to best through material science is to get the, the greatest results out of your sintering, your sintered zirconia, is through ensuring that your sintering oven is operating at optimal temperature and what is appropriate for that zirconia to reach the most aesthetic results. Zon Dental has, uh, has created a product called the Zerlec Transitions Calibration Rings, which I have here in my hand. And this is a very clever, but yet innovative, and it's a very simple way of calibrating your furnace. So you're able to place this ring into your regular um, sintering tray with your crowns that you would sinter on a normal uh, fashion. So it doesn't interrupt your production. It doesn't inter disturb your, your workflow. And in fact, you're able to see what the temperature is. And I'll demonstrate in a second how that's accomplished. But so looking at this, and this is what you end up getting, now, I want to emphasize that just because you set your parameters at a certain temperature and the digital reading is, says that temperature of, let's just say, 1480, it doesn't necessarily mean, without making sure and testing it, that that's exactly what's happening within the sintering oven. And it's critically important to make sure that the temperature that is occurring within your sintering oven is the right one. So by placing this ring into your sintering tray and sending it up with your restoration, once it centers and it comes down and it cools, you can then take it over to a digital caliber, as you see here, and measure the diameter of this. So again, this is a green state zirconia that is manufactured to have a very specific shrinkage that dictates by the temperature by which it's subjected to. So again, this is a cool zirconia at this point, and it is a one-time use. Um, once it's centered, you're able to then take this to a digital caliber and see the exact numbers by which the diameter is. Now, those numbers correlate directly to what is the true temperature within. So if we look at this document, 1947 correlates to 1506 of a temperature Celsius inside your furnace. So if your zirconia is at 1480, or that's what you set it at 1480, and the true reading is truly at 1506, you can imagine that that's 26 degrees hotter than what you really intended on, on sintering your, your zirconia with, which will absolutely affect your end results or your aesthetic results for those crowns. So by doing so, you're then able to adjust your sintering temperatures by reducing it by 26 degrees, because from 1480 to 1506 is 26 degrees. And then the next cycle you're going to run it at is 26 degrees less than 1480. And you should do this on a regular maintenance protocol the way you would normally when you're purging your sintering oven and certainly calibrating. It's something that I highly suggest and encourage doing it as you transition into a new zirconia so that you can give it the actual valid, valid assessment and see the restorative uh, benefits and function of it. But And then take it into a regular maintenance protocol, and it really depends on the laboratory and how much volume you're doing. But certainly, depending on the volume the laboratory is doing, you can do it once a week, once a month, once every other month, just to ensure that your restorations are truly sintering at the right temperature. And there's nothing simpler than this kit, and that's why I, I really enjoy this kit, because it doesn't interrupt your, your production or your workflow. You're, in essence, just putting a ring uh, the size of a breath mint into your sintering tray. And then once it comes out, you, you check it, and then you can correlate it to this graph. It's a very simple and innovative way. And I definitely encourage everyone to include this in their protocol, their maintenance protocol, just to ensure that all your restorations are coming out to the best of your ability and that your clients are happy with the consistent and maintained high aesthetic of a premium zirconia. Hope you found value for this and um, hope all is well and we're looking forward to seeing you all soon.